Welcome back to Thomas Garage. Well, last video I did, I did the uh, easy change oil filter conversion on this John Deere out of this S1, S120, I think that's what it is. S120. But now we're going to go ahead and finish the service. Service the John Deere. But what I noticed while I was doing the oil change conversion, I uh, noticed this, this thing is packed. Full of a fluffy nest, we're gonna do that. Spark plugs, check his air filter. I bet his air filter is pretty good because he's only got about 10 hours on it since last summer. He must not use it very much. Anyway, then we're gonna sharpen his blades. Do something with that flat tire. Let's pull this, let's pull this cover off. Let's pull that cover off. What size are these? Should be a three eighths. Yeah, that's a three eighths. It's a three eighths. Cover bolt. Uh oh, I just walked right into the camera. <laughs> I wish I could get to that. Wouldn't that be nice? Nope. Let's see. We'll take this bolt out. We gotta take this cover off. Two. We'll take all the. Take all the bolts out. We can get two. I can't forget to put those covers back on. Can't forget, baby. That's a weird looking sticker. Applies to engine only. What applies to the engine only? Oh. Oh. Whatever it is, it applies just to the engine. <laughs> Na, 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 na. Got to take those mountain bolts off the fuel pump. I don't have to take these all the way out. I just do. I just do. Oh, let's see. We got one more over here. I still got that bucket of oil laying there. Let me get it out of here. My luck, I dropped one of them bolts in it. Let's check out this big old fluffy nest. Why oh, just ripped my fingernail? Ew. Sure did. Caught it on something. Ow. Okay, let's get the air filter off. That's the evidence of the fluffy. Evidence of the fluffy. Let's see, where did the thing go? Oh God, let's get this cover off. Flywheel screen. And be gentle, because you're going in plastic. All right, let's go around here. Pull that fuel pump back. Give the pulse line a little checking out. It's not split. I ordered a bunch of these to keep in stock, because I run across them periodically that's cracked. That's what gets this vacuum from the engine to operate that fuel pump. I swear. Okay, now we need a quarter socket. We need a quarter. 
Because in here you've got two little screws right there and right there. Can't forget those. And the cover should just pop off. That should. Okay, let's see what, I hope ain't nothing right jumps out at me. There's the cover. Let's see, we got a bunch of acorns. All kinds of good stuff. Yeah, that, those cooling fans are completely caked. Let me grab my little tool, see if I can, my little toothpick over here, see if I can dig some of that out. Because that cooling tin comes down through here. It won't just fall through. So I can force it down a little bit and reach in there with that and just kind of Dig some of it out. No, I need to pull this. I need to pull that fin back a little bit. Let me go find my three inch socket wherever I laid it. What did I do with my three inch socket? There it is. Get my wet vac. Vacuum cleaner. Pull some of that stuff out of there. Let's see, we got one here. Yeah, that'll let you. That'll let you pull it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to have to get the vacuum cleaner out because I can just get this right here. Heat is the worst thing, worst enemy of these engines. Because the air-cooled engine runs a lot hotter than the water-cooled, like a car. Anyway. Okay. That's pretty good. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Acorn. Pretty good little bit of stuff in there. I don't want to take my air hose and just blow it because somebody told me recently that that's a rat nest or something. You get that stuff airborne, you can get some kind of hookah virus or something. Yeah. Okay. I don't know hookah virus. All right, good enough. All right. All right, now we'll put the cover back on and then we will continue the service. Come on, cool Tim, get out on down there, boy. All right, now we'll get the mountain bolts restarted. Yeah, a while ago, man, for some reason, I had this table lowered all the way down. And the tractor was just kind of sitting here. And I had my back turned to it, doing something on the bench. This thing made the loudest bang like it, something fell or something on it. 
But I can't find no reason it done that, unless it was just kind of sitting here in the bind somehow or another. I had that zero turns front wheels on it, and I had it raised a little bit, and I sharpened the blades and lowered it back down and took the zero turn out. That thing made the biggest bang. Scared me, boy. I about touched the roof, and I can't figure out what it was or what happened. Some things we will never know. The world may never know. But it was loud. back on there. We've got to put them two little screws back in front. We've got to put that back on. Alright, two little screws go in here. Nope, these go right there. And gently, you're going into plastic. socket on there first before you put your screw in it. Ooh, easy. These two screws go through the cover and into the well there's a backing plate in the no it's part of the intake manifold. Not for the cover. These are kind of aggravating to get lined up. I like to get one started and I like to get the one across from it started. And then the other two will line up. There we go. There's two. There's three. There's four. What do you do with my impact wrench? Be very gentle. Easy. 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 All right. All right. <coughs> I'm going to grab a new, a new air filter. Even though that looks pretty good. one was this? I think this was the 591334. I gotta go over here and get my picker. I can't reach him now. the oil change and oil filter. Let me uh, you know I ain't gonna replace some spark plugs. This, this thing ain't got but 10 hours on it. I really didn't need to replace the air filter but I wanted to because it was eating the outer cover was. Let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them spark plugs in there. 
Hayam. Hayam, Hayam. I just put them in there last August, and here it is. Not even June yet, so. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Let me let me double check that oil, because you know how crazy about oil I am. pull these covers off because there's so much debris piled in here I can't get the grease gun way in there I like doing it like that anyway because let me look see what kind of shape these blades are in if this thing I know it needs sharpening I'm going to sharpen it anyway but it's curious just to see how gentle he really is on this little tractor oh boy they're chewed up a little bit He's been hitting a lot of acorns and sweet gum balls and pine cones and little sticks. Let me engage his blades. I want to see that belt. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some air in that right front tire or I'm gonna let it sit here for another day or two. I don't wanna see how fast this thing leaks because we may end up putting a tube in it for him. Oh, let me grab the gauge and see how many pounds that is. We'll gauge the rate of deflation. And that's 25. Let me let a little out. Put about 20 in it and see how it acts. That is right on 20. Grab my little pick and my little flashlight. Like I said, if he's only got 10 hours on this thing, since last time I've done all this, it shouldn't need a whole lot of grease. It shouldn't. Let me grab my flashlight. And make sure the make sure I can get to the grease fitting. Yeah, John Deere gives you these little access ports, but you really can't. There it is. So far under there. Yeah, I can still see grease on it from the last time I greased it. Shouldn't need, shouldn't need much. Let me dig out the little access window over here and shine the light in there too. grease on it too. Let me grab my greasy gun. My greaser gun. Yeah, he dropped this thing off because he's moving to a new house and he, he said he just wants me to give it a freshening. 
but I ordered that oil change conversion kit last year for him. It's been on the shelf ever since. Because last year I went ahead and replaced that easy change filter. And when he came to pick it up, I told him about the conversion you can do. And he's like, yeah, go ahead and order it and we'll do it next year. And that's what we did. <coughs> and we'll do it again for somebody else. Raise this deck up. So I can see under see when the grease comes out. Because it'll either come out under the pulley or it'll come out above the blade. There it is. Give him a grease pin back. Alright, let's go over here. I got we'll come around there and get you. You know, this is probably one of the first times I ever have greased a John Deere deck without just taking the covers off. It didn't have a whole lot of debris. If it did, I really would have taken them off. This one on this side can be a real pain, though. Y'all that know, knows. Oh, let's see. I'm going to get myself down here. I need to get my knee pad. I'm down to 160 pounds now, so I ain't got no meat on my kneecap. snap down there let me make sure it ain't coming out from around yeah. it's trying to come out from around it I'm getting a flashlight around here and see it back Started coming out. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll go around here and grease the front end. Give it a good greasing. There's a good reason to give it a good greasing for the season. Missing the grease fitting on this wheel. We are. I think he told me he replaced that wheel one time. Wipe all the goo off the grease fitting. Wipe all the goo. Spin it around so we can get to it. Look at that. That's nasty. Nasty. grease all over the tripod. I tell you, every time I grab that grease gun, I end up with that stuff in my hair, in my beard. I found some up in my armpit one time. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we can do about this missing grease fitting. It's the case of the missing grease fitting. Take the goo out of the 
a threaded hole there. Let's see, I don't think I'll be able to, I don't think I'll have a curve one. Yeah, that wheel is different than this one. That wheel over there, it's threaded at an angle. That one's just, that one's just threaded straight up. Let me open the grease fitting drawer. Grease fitting drawer. Here's a 90 degree, that'll work. If we can get the thread in there, if it's the correct thread, it's kind of hard to get it started. I have to just pull this wheel off. I believe I might. I'm not going in at it straight. Well, that is hard to do. Can't get my fingers in there. It may not be the correct thread. Let me. Well, I'll tell you, I, a few months ago, I shaved my head, started shaving my head. I bump my head on everything I get near now. It's like cutting a cat's whiskers off, man. You know, you just lose it. Lose function. Let's see, well, here's a. There's a curved one here. I didn't think I had one. Everything. I just bumped my head on that clutch pedal. I just bumped my head on that. When I had hair, I didn't do that. I got to let my hair grow back, I guess. Spin that wheel around a little bit. See if I can get this one started. It should be this thread. I'm just ain't wanting to start. So anyway, the camera got hot and quit. Glad I noticed it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this wheel right here off and lay it on the workbench. And I just pop all those tools where I said I was gonna lay that wheel. Fix this little Grease fitting. Okay. Careful not to tear this rubber cap. Some of that dust off of it. Grease. Doesn't need to be grazed, but can't go around with a missing grease button. Can't do it. Oh, that rack's got grease all over it. Yeah. I wonder how many other people do that. They'll get something like this on their hands and they'll go to the table to go for a grease rag, but they don't want to grab a good grease rag that we're looking for a grease rag that's already half ruined God, now they're even oilier than they were before okay i have another grease fitting laying somewhere there it is all right let's go over to the bench honestly let me raise the camera a little bit should screw right in and it is I believe it's three eighths it is nope I wonder if some threads are boogered up or that's probably the it probably takes that top grease fit and you press in
Bitchy. Bitchy money. Mm, yep. I bet it is. Let me look over here and see if I got some of those press things. Press things, press things. Press it in, press it in. Well, that one's too big. Ah, that's a straight one. If I put this straight one in there, I won't be able to get my grease gun on it, I'm afraid. Grease gun, I'll just see. No, I wouldn't be able to get the grease gun on it. It'd be too much of an angle. It'd be too much of a gangle. Let me get my little auto scope here. I'm gonna look down in there and see if it is threaded. Looks to me like it's threaded. But you can't really tap it. You don't have room to get a tap in there. Hmm. I'm going to try again to get this one in there. I don't care if it even cross threads. As long as it's in there. It sure don't want to go in. You sure don't want to go in there. I ain't giving up on it. I want this fella to have a grease fitting on his front wheel. Here we go. It's either not threaded, and I'm actually threading it, or I got the wrong thread and I'm cross threading it, which I don't care. At least that way we know it won't fall out. screwed in as far as I can because I don't want to get the grease you know to come out from around it if you don't get it screwed in far enough a little bit more and I'm gonna stop right there okay back over to the tractor <clears throat> I'm gonna set this cap out in the direct sunlight for a little bit let it get real hot and soft Press it back on easier, otherwise I'll have to get the heat gun and heat it up. I don't feel like going through that. So, so, spin around that way. Grab my Chanel locks. That greasy washer. That washer, that's what actually holds the cap. Okay, good enough. I'm going to let that cap sit out there and heat up in the sunlight. Heat up in the sunlight. Money. I put that right there. that front wheel. You can come around here and watch. You don't have to be by yourself over there. If I can keep from hitting the camera. There it goes. We got grease.
Change the oil. I didn't change the spark plugs. It ain't got the 10 hours on it since I've done it last. I ain't changing that fuel filter either. It looks good. Air filter because it was chewed on. Now we're going to sharpen his blades. Put the hood back on it. Give it a good cleaning because we made that big old mess in the last video. Yeah, you see everything's still got a good coating of oil all over it. His, his fittings are greased, his belts look good. I'm gonna monitor this wheel if it's flat in the morning when I come back out. I'll put a tube in that. So let's get her off the table and get her on the end of the table down there so I can so I can raise the front of the tractor. I ain't gonna raise the tractor. I ain't gonna hold that thing up by the roof anymore. I've got too much weight up there. I don't wanna pull this roof down on me. Blades engaged. Manny. All right, let's get these blades up there before somebody else calls or comes by. Manny, I'll tell you, it has been a busy day. Uh. Uh. I said I wasn't going to do that no more. I was going to sharpen blades first, then grease it, because it gets very silver. That's all I have to do, I'll wipe it off. That's pretty sharp there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freshen up the tips for him. Just freshen up the tip. Okay, where was we? Really all I'm doing is 
just shining it up. Taking hardly nothing off of it. Yup, yup, yup. Alright, let me set y'all back down and y'all can watch me put them back on. Put them back on. my rheumatologist last year and boy my arthritis is back with a vengeance. Ooh, I'm stiff all the time. scared me to death. I thought I'd got run over by something. Ugh. That's funny. All right, now we'll let her back down. Pull it out there, man, and get ready to get ready to degrease it. Hose it off real good. Get the hood back on it. I'll get the hood back on it, then I'll wash it. this little cap right here it's been basking in the sun it's real warm to the touch warm to the touch Let's see if we can't shove it back on without much trouble I may have to use both hands here squeeze on there booger yeah let me lay the camera down strong hand. Oh, get on there. Get on there, little booger. I can almost get it. Get on there. Oh. Oh. I'll edit. I'll edit this part out. <laughs> Y'all can't see me struggling with it anyway. Y'all just laying there on the ground watching the ants walk by. There we go. We win. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video. Thanks for 
Thanks for watching another Tom W. Whooping. I love you boys and girls. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch y'all on the next turn. Love y'all.